Hey everyone, it's Kayla Simone. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a super special video. I'm going to do an eyeshadow look, so I already have the base of my face done, and I want y'all to guess what palette I got. I'll wait. First of all, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, definitely drop down and subscribe, but I'll give you a clue. I'll give you a clue. Jacket, 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 I have the Jackie Ina and Anastasia Beverly Hills collab palette. This palette is so, so pretty. By the way, disclaimer, this video will be biased. Okay? I bought this palette because I love me some Jackie Ina. I bought her, um artist couture collab a few years ago when she did that and so i knew that this would not be anything less than amazing um of course everybody always talks about the fallout from abh's palettes that is to be expected but i just want to know color payoff softness all of that stuff so if you'd like to see me create an awesome eyeshadow look from this palette then stay tuned and keep on watching okay so i have y'all zoomed all the way in um, I'm definitely going for something summer and fresh so um, by the way I haven't watched any videos actually I watched I, I watched two videos I'm not gonna say any I haven't watched any reviews I've watched a video that Jackie dropped herself um, showing the palette showing her eyeshadow look um, I'm not gonna try and recreate that and I also watched Iris's video where she did um, kind of the reenactment or recreation of Jackie's eyeshadow look but I have not watched reviews anything good bad and different about the palette I wanted this to be fresh I wanted to just come up with whatever look I come up with and then you guys will see the finished result I just wanted to show y'all me using the palette um, and that's pretty much it I did put some footage of the palette and I'm going to show you what it looks like but I did put footage of the palette on my Instagram and these colors are absolutely stunning. Um, obviously Jackie is darker than me so she made this for black brown women. Um, this should be fine on my eyes so I'm going to start by uh, priming my lids. I'm just going to do that with the concealer that I always use or that I've been using lately and it's the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. My lids are primed. I'm not going to set them with anything. Um, I love the fact that every time you get an ABH palette, you get a new brush. So I got about three or four of these brushes now because I got about four palettes. Um, and so I think I want to start with Ginger. And Ginger is this soft orangey brown on this end. You definitely want to knock some of the excess off because you know it has fallout. Don't be retarded. And I'm just gonna go, and it's probably not gonna look like much, but I like transitioning into these types of looks because I don't know how dramatic I'm gonna get. I'm literally just going on the fly right now. Jump to the color credit, which is this dark brown right here.
And I'm just gonna focus that on the outer corner. And it is dark. I'm just adding a little more of credit just to deepen up that outer corner. And credit is, I don't know, it's given like a purplish color payoff, but it's like kind of like a purplish dark brown. I really, really am torn between whether I want to use edges next or wigglies. Um, wigglies is more of this wine color, pinky color, like shimmer, and then edges is more of this copper tone. Um, I don't know which one I want to do, or do I want to do like a different look all together? I kind of want to use Wiggle Ease and Zam on the lid together, these two. Zam. I'm going to go in with Zam first because that's lighter and I'm going to pat that within like the inner, not inner corner, but the innermost lid. I haven't done an eyeshadow video in so long. Now, I'm not spraying this. We're just going to see what the payoff looks like. Yes. That is like really pretty off rip. Like really, really pretty. Hopefully y'all see my vision come together soon. Now because I want more of a gradient effect, I'm going to go into Wigglies and I'm going to pop that in the center. So now it's going from credit to Wigglies into Zam. I do want to take this brush, tap edges, and I'm going to go over that outer corner again. And this isn't just me trying to make the look a little warmer, make it blend a little more. really going in with edges on that outer corner because I wanted it to be deep but I don't want it to look like a fall makeup look just yet so I'm kind of blowing it out in the outer edge So I can say so far, like, it's really, really easy to apply the colors. Um, I 
I'm trying to get away from doing like cut creases and things like that so this is a little less constructed of an eye really soft um, really really cute not sure if this is pronounced soleil soleil but so soleil but I'm gonna take this color here it looks a little bright but I'm gonna tap that on my brow bone And I haven't done a brow bone highlight in a minute. And the one of the things that I like to do that um, Jackie doesn't do, but her lashes are bomb. Um, mine are not. I am actually going to apply a wing liner with this look and then my lashes and then I'll be right Okay, back. so I'm back, I have my lashes on. Um, I'm gonna zoom in for you guys to see um, what the eyeshadow looks like so far. Um, I'm normally not this much of a shimmery person, but the colors in the palette that really, really popped to me were the shimmers. I was thinking to make this pop a little more I'm gonna add, and I'm not really a jewel tone, tone person. I mean, it pro it looks good, but like, this is outside of my comfort zone because I have not, like I've been doing more neutral, natural makeup looks. So um, I'm pretty sure my lip is either gonna be matte or it's going to be nude for sure um, because of how like busy the eyes are. But normally I do my inner, inner corner of my eye with a shimmer but because the look is so shimmery i think i want to do a matte color so let's see eh. i want to put supreme which is like this really bright pink right here on the inner corner so let's see That's actually really pretty. Cause everything else is so shimmery. Like it's a shimmer on my brow bone. It's a shimmer on my lids. So I wanted to use Supreme as that inner corner pop, but instead of it being a shimmer, I want it to be matte. And it's looking really good, actually. I think I'm just so outside of my comfort zone because I have not done um, a like a real eyeshadow look in so long and maybe the next video I'll do more of a matte look so I'm going to add a lip and then come back and show you the final look and give you my final thoughts so I'm not even gonna hold you up I don't know if you can tell the difference between this eye here in this eye but um i actually did spray the brush because i just i'm curious and i wanted to see what the color payoff was gonna be like it's so pretty with a wet brush now, so of course my camera died like it didn't die but i ran out of space and it didn't tell me until after i ended the recording which was very weird so my footage is gone but y'all <laughs> i can't believe that happened but i did wet the brush um and re just added a little more of zam and wigglies on my lids and i think it came out really pretty i'm sorry like i'm so like blown backwards that my camera did that to me like excuse you um but i did uh wet the brush and to see what the color payoff would be like and i really really like um that and it's i think it's because it allowed it me to be a little more precise with the um with the shimmer shadows because my lids are semi hooded and so product tends to transfer a lot so me wetting the brush wasn't because the color payoff wasn't good this just helped it be more precise and stay in place for my eyelids um so <laughs> i'm so over my camera right now mm. but um 
my final thoughts about the Jackie Ina and Anastasia Beverly Hills collab palette is that the palette is beautiful 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 colors um, definitely outside of my comfort zone I will say that the colors are not colors that I normally reach for I normally reach for yellows oranges golds browns like warm tone colors and these jewel tones are I feel like doing me justice and if I keep looking down it's because I'm looking at the viewfinder um just really really pretty really feminine um not something that I normally like I said reach for but I think it forced me to step outside of my comfort zone so I think if you like colors like this or if you want to step outside of your comfort zone definitely pick this palette up retail for $45 um I ordered mine on Anastasia Beverly Hills website a few days ago shipping was really fast it was two day shipping and I think there was like a percentage off the shipping because I think it was supposed to be eleven dollars and it ended up only being six um so it came up to 51 or yeah 51 with the two day shipping um I got it yesterday in the mail which was August 9th and today's the 10th that I'm recording this video I believe it doesn't come out in stores until the 12th or the 13th um but I just number one i love the packaging it's so beautiful i don't know if you can see the iridescent nature of it i don't even think the camera does it justice um it's a very good reflection of what the inside of the palette looks like i definitely want to play with this a little more and give you guys a few more looks so um you'll probably be seeing a few more makeup videos in the future um because i have to sharpen up my eyeshadow skills i haven't done uh, eyeshadow in a while just because i've been more on this natural neutral um glowy kick but this is forcing me to um just use what i've got and like support a youtuber that i absolutely love i think this is definitely brown girl friendly um colored girl friendly anybody who is a girl of color don't be scared of the colors in this palette because baby they will show up okay um so if you guys like this video definitely give it a thumbs up if you have not yet joined my channel and you've watched the video this far definitely click that subscribe button show your girl some support um i've been doing giveaways more often i'm trying to get in the mode of giving away hopefully at least once a month um just to give back to my subscribers i definitely appreciate you guys for always supporting me and just um showing me love on my channel so uh, let me know if you like this video share this video with your friends somebody who's looking at this palette or just likes natural hair and makeup in general also uh, this wash and go is the uh, allocate naturals wash and go i have an affiliate code with them so if you want to pick up some products and look at some of my past videos which i either link down below or put in the end cards um watch those videos see how I do my hair and um yeah I will definitely talk to you guys next time my code with allocate naturals is Kayla 15 so um plug that code in get a little percentage off your purchase and it helps your girl out a lot Without further ado, I'm going to end this video because my camera just does not want to cooperate with me today. I love you guys and I will talk to you next time. Peace.